Right, UK Champs, round two. Decoy Lakes, I've only fished it once before and that was three weeks ago for the Maven match disqualifier. Um, and on that particular match I drew on New Lake, uh, which is one of the, the last strip lake on the complex. Um, and I did quite well, I won my section and I learnt a lot as well, just looking around other anglers what they were doing and just understand a bit of watercraft for the venue it's a great venue loads of big fish which is what I love doing as well targeting the better stamp fish and uh, so I kind of like had an insight of what my plan was you know what my approach could be you know several approaches method feeder shallower caster down the margins if I can get in the right depth of water and hard pellet on the deck um, and on the day of the UK Champs, it was a bitterly cold day considering the weather we've had recently, really warm weather. It was like 11, 12 degrees, freezing weather. Um, and blew an absolute gale as well. Luckily, in the bag, I drew peg 30 on oak, which is um, the, the lake before U Lake, Strip Lake, and peg 30 is the end peg. Um, and when I've got to my peg, I really fancied it because I'm the end peg on the lake with a wind blowing into it, just just screamed fish basically. Um, I had a tough section. I had uh, Richie Hull, I had Craig Goldstraw, uh, Pete Bailey, John Arthur, just to name a few. So I had my work cut out really. I, but I've got an end peg. And that was my main advantage, major advantage on the day. So, and because it was so windy, I really did simplify my approach. I did set up a short rig with hard pellet, a 4 by 16 rig. But the presentation was absolutely terrible. Um, so basically, mentally, although I've set my uh, deck rig up, my approach was going to be method feeder in front of me in the open water over loose feed. And up the bank in with a method feeder which looked just extremely fishy and down the edge to my left where I could get in about two and a half foot of water um, where you can't feed ground bait down the margins there so my plan was to feed micros and fish corn over the top so as the match started I've started on the short pole I've caught nothing because the presentation was that bad maybe after 10 minutes of realizing this I've Chuck the pole up the bank, under on the method feeder in front of me, um, and progressed a little bit further out, maybe to about 18 metres, just short of halfway, you know, uh, just short of the middle of the lake, so to speak. And maybe in the first half, I've had three carp. In the meantime, I'm pinging six more pellets against the banking, and I've under on the method feeder to the banking, I've caught a couple of fish, and then it's died. And then I've just gone further along the banking towards I've got a spinner, which is I'd say the, the marker between halfway, um, right next to the banking. I didn't want to fish underneath the spinner because there's two posts that hold it down, and I felt I'd be playing a percentage playing a percentage game if I fished too tight to it and they did want to take me under it. So I fished to the line of the trees just before the spinner. And to be honest with you, that's been my match. I've caught really steady throughout the match just the odd fish um i've just had a perfect match i've not missed a bite and i've not lost fish and i've used a a, a, a small preston method feeder with equal quantities of my, my usual method mix green swim stim marine halibut with a handful of micros in and i've used a banded six mil pellet on the hook and pinged six mils over the top and the pinging really did work because of the depth that i was fishing in because of the trees, I couldn't get into the shallow water. So I reckon I was throwing a method feeder into maybe between three and four foot of water. And that pinging activated and aggravated fish into feeding. And there were times where I'd be sat there not getting a bite, loose feed some bait, and all of a sudden my tip went round. Um, and so that was it really. I've, I've had a lovely day's fishing considering the weather. I've ended up with 24 carp, 23 or 24 carp. For £152, and that has won the section. 
Um, Pete Bailey was second in the section with £138 from the middle of the lake. Um, so, yeah, I was well happy with that, especially, you know, with this prestigious, you know, the, the UK Champs. It's really prestigious. Um, and I feel now with a first and a second, I've got an half decent chance of doing well and possibly winning it. But it, it, there's a long way to go. Another two rounds to go. Anything can happen because of 10 peg sections, um, especially with the class of the anglers that are in it. Um, on the day, Steve Rothery won the match with £238. Um, there was Jack Arnis with £206. Um, so, all in all, it was a, a really good uh, you know, day's fishing for everybody. Everyone caught loads of fish and there were some big waves. So the next round, which is in a week's time, is at Western Pools. Um, and I've fished that once before, and that was an Indrena Knockout Cup last year, uh, the semi-final round of the Indrena Knockout Cup. And that's another great fishery. I am going to go up, I think, the day before and just have a little bit of a practice. Um, but I'll let you know what happens, and fingers crossed, see what happens.